Hello students, this is Asma Mishtaq from BWE Vibes and in this tutorial I am going to explain how the temperature affects the diode current and how the saturation current has the impact on the value of the diode current. Okay, so, uh, so far we have studied about the diode current equation which is given as ID is equal to IS into E raised to power VD over zeta VD and then minus 1 fine and in this particular problem you are given the saturation current which is equal to 0 0.1 pico amperes at 20 degree centigrade and you have to determine the value of the diode current when the forward diode voltage is or the diode voltage is equal to 0 0.55 volts fine so this is the first step that you have to do in the second step they have increased the temperature and then again you will have to find the impact of this increased temperature on the diode current. So let's start uh, with the determination of the thermal voltages because Vt is the parameter that is influenced by the temperature. And it is determined using the formula of Kt over Q where K is the Boltzmann constant and its value is given as 1.38 into 10 raised to power minus 23 joules per Kelvin. Fine. The temperature is always represented in the Kelvin. So what you will do 20 degree plus 273 will be added in order to convert it into the Kelvin. And we know the charge on the electron is equal to 1.6 into 10 is to power minus 19 coulombs when you will uh, simplify this expression you are going to get the thermal voltages value that will be equal to 0 0.0257 volts okay so once you are having the value of the thermal voltages and assuming that zeta is equal to 1 since vd is equal to 0 0.5 volts that's why zeta will be equal to 1 let's just substitute the value and find the value of the diode current for the given parameters so is is equal to 0 0.1 into 10 raised to power minus 12 into e raised to power 0 0.55 divided by 0.02527 minus 1 all right when you will simplify this expression you are going to get the value of the diode current which is equal to 0 0.283 milliamperes 0 0.283 milliamperes this value of the diode current is present at the 20 degree centigrade now let's see when we increase the temperature how the thermal voltages are changed okay let's just partition it when temperature is equal to 100 degree centigrade you can see that vd will become kt over q and after solving this you will get the value of Vt equal to 0 0.03217 volts. Fine. So you can see clearly from here when the temperature increases from 20 degree to 100 degree centigrade, the thermal voltage is increasing. And one thing more that you will notice in this example. For determining the value of the ID when both temperatures are different, we will be using the same value of VD. Why? I will justify this reason later on. So, VD is equal to 0 0.55 volt will be used again for determining the updated value of the diode current but for now should we use the same value of is no why because is doubles 
for every 10 degree centigrade rise in temperature okay so far the value of the is is equal to 0 0.1 pico amperes and now the temperature has increased from 20 to 100 degree centigrade so let's say when the temperature goes from 20 to 30 degree centigrade 20 to 30 degree centigrade so the increment is of 10 degree centigrade and is should be double so what does it mean is should be equal to let Let's call it is1 it should be equal to twice of is so as it will be doubled similarly when the temperature goes from 30 degree to 40 degree centigrade what will happen again there is an increase of 10 degree centigrade temperature now what should i write is2 should be equal to twice of is1 fine let's substitute the value of is1 which is equal to 2 times of 2 times of is or simply you can say that 2 raised to power 2 times of is now while going from 20 degree to 100 degree centigrade there is an increase in temperature of the order of 10 8 times so that's why the updated value of the is that we should use with the increase in the temperature is equal to 2 raised to power 8 times of the previous value of the is okay and it has been determined using the this technique so let's just simplify it it will be equal to 256 into 0 0.1 into 10 raised to power minus 12 okay now the next step is to find the value of id since we have introduced the change or of increased in the i uh, increase in the temperature in the value of the is let's see how id will be calculated now so id is equal to 256 times of 0.1 into 10 raised to power minus 12 and this whole expression should be multiplied with e raised to power 0 0.55 divided by 0 0.03217 minus 1 when you will simplify this the id current will be equal to 681 micro amperes okay in order to understand this change if you look at the value or previous value of the id you can see the current was equal to 283 micro amperes but with the increase in the temperature from 20 degree to 100 degree centigrade the magnitude of the current has also increased so if you draw the characteristic curve for the for understanding the concept of the change in temperature and you want to see how it impacts the characteristic curves so if it is the vd here you will have the id and you know that the we are considering the case when the diode is forward biased so let's see the first characteristic curve which will be at 100 degree centigrade can be drawn like that and the same characteristic curve which will be drawn at 20 degree centigrade will have the value equal to that. Now if we keep the current sorry first of all we will keep the diode voltage is fixed just like we did in this example when vd is fixed so you can see that this will intercept over here we are going to get different values of i so this is i1 and this can be represented as i2 
so for the fixed value of vd let's say it's equal to 0.6 volts the value of the diode current at 20 degree centigrade is smaller as compared to the value of the diode current at 100 degree centigrade fine and similarly if you keep the fixed value of the current just like if i take i1 as the fixed amount of the current flowing through the diode and we draw the projection on these characteristic curves we can see there will be two different values of vd okay the first value is called vd1 and the second value which is shown over here is vd2 so we can conclude from here with increase in temperature id increases so there is a direct relation between the id and the temperature while with the increase in the temperature you can see there is the decrement in the diode voltages so when you increase the temperature from 20 degree to 100 degree centigrade you move towards the left and hence the diode voltages are reduced so there is the inverse relation between the temperature and the diode voltages and it is said that for every 1 degree centigrade rise in temperature VD drops by 2.5 milli volts fine if you have any question uh, related to this topic you can drop your questions in the comment section thank you for watching